We're on board the Mavi Marmara where the Israeli Navy has now flanked us on all sides. If you can hear behind me, that is the sound of some sort of artillery being fired. Uh, it's now been confirmed that one person indeed has been killed by the Israeli army which has been using live munition on these civilians. I think this flotilla um, has the potential to be both historical and deeply powerful. Um, it is really a symbol, I think, of people power, um, of civil society and grassroots mobilization in the face of the silence and complicity of our governments. The urgency of the situation in Gaza and in occupied Palestine demands that we begin to take some of the risks and sacrifices that Palestinians are forced to endure on a daily basis. Jawdat was taking, you know, he, he, he was taking pictures of that helicopter which was shooting these people. Um, and as he was taking that picture, he fell down. Uh, we didn't know what happened until he was taking shelter because we were screaming, take a shelter, take a shelter. Uh, when he didn't move, I went for another colleague of mine trying to pull him back. Um, I saw a scratch in his head. I put my hand underneath his head, I was pulling him back. Uh, by the time we reached the corner under the shelter, we were run, really running out of you know, bullets. Were to 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 see that picture of these bullets. It was like an American Hollywood movie, but it was really real. Um, by the time we got to the corner, uh, and for the whole time, I mean, I could see him moving slowly, slowly, and we knew that he's gone.